cooks, today we're making beef and onions and we're going to braise it in beer. And we're going to use this brand new stove, five quart enameled Dutch oven. This is cast iron. So I'm excited to try this out and we're going to make a fantastic beef dish that'll blow your socks off. So welcome to the Amy Learns to Cook kitchen. So this is an enameled cast iron Dutch oven. It's an essential piece for your uh, kitchen. It pretty much hugs your food. So it is a great vessel to do a braise in. And a braise is cooking meat in a small amount of liquid. So it breaks down and gets really tender. Um, so this is a stove. It's made in France. It's actually um, owned by Zwillig, which is an amazing company. They have amazing products. And these are known to be pretty much some of the best, right? So this is a Dutch oven. It's five quarts. And um, let's take a look at it. So it has an easy opening here. Woo! Aha! Look at how beautiful this is. Made in France. It has these little um, pegs, I guess you will, on the inside of the lid. It helps that uh, the braise, all the moisture come down. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful white color. <gasps> Comes with a little booklet with all their products in it. Oh my gosh. Amy's a happy cook right now. Wow. Whoa. Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Wow. That is stunning. Wow, wow, wow. So here's our Dutch oven. Here is the lid. Woo! Look at that. That right there is a beauty. Whoa, if you're thinking about enameled cast iron, please look at stove because this Dutch oven is absolutely gorgeous. I just want to thank Stove for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. And I'll put a link down in the uh, description to this Dutch oven. Wow, this is beautiful. So our first step is to brown some bacon. So I have our beautiful stove here. I have a quarter pounder of bacon that I just diced. And I have a tablespoon of butter in the Dutch oven. We're going to go ahead and brown this bacon up until it's crispy. So this is looking pretty good. The bacon is nice and crispy. We're gonna go ahead and remove it to this plate here. So I have two pounds of thinly sliced onions. Woo, and they are strong. I have my Demira uh, pan here. Ooh. So if you go to Zwillig's website, you can see all their line of products and their cookware is amazing. <laughs> so we got two tablespoons or four tablespoons of butter here. So we're just going to let this melt. So we're going to put all these onions in this pan and we're literally going to be cooking these onions for like a half hour. We don't want to like brown them. We're not going to be caramelizing them but we do want them to be soft and translucent and a little bit lightly browned. So these are gonna be in here for a while. Um, and they're gonna cook down. In the meantime, we're gonna cook the beef. Okay, I bought a chuck roast, it's about three pounds, and I cut it into two inch chunks, like stew meat, right? And we're going to give it a little salt and pepper. Not overly salt it because there will be beef broth in our um, in our braise. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a quick stir. Mm. 
give it a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. <laughs> so I have our stove back on here. We have the bacon grease in there and we're going to go ahead and start browning this beef. You don't want to put it in there too close together because you will not get the browning. So we want to brown them off in kind of small batches. Otherwise it'll steam without, without browning. Whew. So as these go along, we'll be back. So we have some really nice browning happening in here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip these and then I'll brown off the rest of rest of these and then I'll be back. These look really good. Okay, I turned the oven on to 350. And now that we have all this gloriousness down here in the stove, we're going to make a roux in here. So I have uh, three tablespoons of flour, just regular AP flour. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a stir. There's a lot of fat down there, beef fat, bacon fat, and butter. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in here. I have this down really low. And we're just gonna cook this until, whoops, until the roux forms. We kind of want an amber color roux. So we're just gonna sit here and stir this in here until we get some color on it. Okay, I cooked the roux to this stage. Um, the darker you get it, the more flavor you're gonna have, right? And I turned the heat off. You have to sit here and stir it and stir it until you get this darkness to it. Um, otherwise, you won't bring all that flavor to it. And you might look at it and you might say, really, I gotta keep stirring this? Yeah, you gotta keep stirring this, right? So I turn the heat off and I have a cup and a half of beef broth. We're gonna stir that in. And I want two cups of beer. I'm using this ale. Which I think is going to be <laughs> just over two bottles, just over one bottle. So we're going to put that in here, got our beer in here, and we're just going to stir and stir and stir and stir until this liquid is combined and all that roux is incorporated. We're going to turn our heat back on. I'm going to cook this for a minute or two. So I'm going to keep cooking this until it comes to a boil. And once it does, we're going to boil it for one minute and then we're going to take, we're going to add some more ingredients. So as soon as this comes to a boil, I'll be back. Okay, we're at a boil. So I'm going to put a bunch of garlic. This is like five cloves of chopped garlic. That's going to go in there. I'm going to put a one and a half teaspoons of sugar in there. I got a tablespoon of vinegar and it's slowly thickening. I have a bouquet garnet. I <laughs> tied together some parsley from Ibu's garden and some thyme leaves. And we're just gonna go ahead and float that in there. Um, and I just lost my string. <laughs> it will allow me to fish it out. So see how it's thickening Ooh, nicely? Looks delicious. So it really helps to get that nice roux going. It may seem tedious, but whoops. Tedious, but good, right? So now 
beef goes back in. Mm. That looks amazing. <laughs> oh, you can take this one off my hands? Yeah, the other one's useless to me, but I'll, I'll take this one. Thank you. I'm going to take these onions, all these onions in here, whoa, wow, this looks amazing. Wow. Wow, that sauce looks so rich. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil. So I'm gonna throw in a couple bay leaves. Yay. Add a little bit more pepper. That looks amazing. I'm not going to salt it till the end because I don't know how salty it is. Bury the bay leaves in there. So, turn this off and put this beautiful lid back on. Whoa, and this is going into the oven at 350. Okay, in the oven, we, we have it on the lowest rack. Oh, that's a beautiful pot. <laughs> It's a beautiful pot. 350, it's gonna be in here for like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Um, so when it's ready, we'll let you know. So our Dutch oven beef and onions is out of the oven. Ooh. That looks amazing. Look at that. Wow. Mmm, that is beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. So we're going to go ahead and take out our bouquet garnet. I have some bay leaves in here. Um, there's one. I think I had three. Whoa, look at that. That is a beauty right there. That is a beauty. So I'm gonna take a little taste just to check for seasoning. Mm. That is so good. <laughs> that is so good. It doesn't need any change in the seasoning. Let's pile these mashed potatoes up with whoa our beef and onions whoa that looks amazing <laughs> that looks amazing the onions kind of melt into the gravy like, there's plenty of gravy in here for you to, you know, have a good old time with. Put a little extra on the side. So, it's time to take a taste. Okay, boo, go ahead and taste it. I just want to say thank you, Amy, for cooking this wonderful yeah, meal because you cook a long time. There's a lot of work on this one. So. Yeah, there's a lot of work on this one. Y'all just got the express version of it. That's but all. This pot is beautiful so i love it so first of all we're going to eat the mashed potatoes with a little gravy on it gravy's got a lot of flavor so yay it has kind of just a subtle beer flavor it's not like an over overarching like you know strong it's just mellow it um it complements it really well the the beef is, is really, um, I mean, this is like tough meat, and it's tender as heck, so. 
did a really good job. Um, flavorful. Now let's go for the double whammy. Let's get beef, mashed potatoes, get a whole, whole together here, <laughs> and some gravy with a little bit of onions on here. So tasty. Of course, it's tasty. Yeah. It's wonderful. Okay. She's got like tons of flavor in here. It's, you know, I mean, I gotta give it a two thumbs up and an extra thumbs up. So <laughs> it's a three. So but I gotta go. You know the drill, right? <laughs> So, Cooks, I just want to thank Stobe for sending this. This is an amazing Dutch oven. I love it. I love the color. I love how it hugs your food. It's fantastic. Um, links for it will be down in the description. I hope you enjoyed this recipe.